Sun signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we want to take a look and see how is it that, um, what's people's first impression of you, okay? So, um, what kind of energy, what kind of vibe do you give off? What do people notice first about you? Maybe what they find most attractive about you. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Otherwise, let's go ahead, give your cards a shuffle and begin. People are most certainly drawn to you, okay? They're definitely drawn to your energy. You have an aura, you have an energy, you have a way about you that is very warm, that is very inviting, okay? Um, you're someone who's very personable. Um, you do, a lot of you do tend to prefer, you might be naturally introverted and you do to prefer maybe to spend some time on your own or in solitude or every now and then you feel like you need to withdraw okay maybe just um to recharge your batteries from time to time um but i feel like you're coming across as someone who you if you you know you're not overly an open book but you do have this energy about you that is very inviting you do have this way about you where you can make uh, friends easily everywhere that you go you have this um, again even though you're not this open book there's just people tend to gravitate towards you people tend to connect with you um, almost very fluidly and very easily you're often perceived as someone who is or who seems older okay a lot more mature than they are not that you look older but you've got this a bit of this old soul kind of energy to you someone who is mature and uh, more advanced to be on their years okay so um, you've got this sense of maturity the sense of depth intellect and wisdom a lot of people gravitate towards you um, especially for advice you have this very caring compassionate very generous nature about you and people tend to pick up on this energy you're someone often people um, uh, people come to for advice or for support you've got you've got this very loving supportive energy about you and people can really pick up on this um, you, you make a good mentor uh, you know people really value your advice your opinion you're, you're known to be a very deep thinker you're someone who's an intellect um, You've got interesting philosophies. You've got quite opinionated, but you're very original in your opinions. Um, you don't reveal everything at once. You do have this air of mystery that surrounds you. So I don't see that, you know, again, just going back to, you're not an open book, but you are very, it's this mystery, okay, uh, about you that is very alluring, that's very enticing, and this is what pulls a lot of people in. They want to get to know you better. You're, you know, you're not someone who they can figure out right away. You're, you're a bit of a complex character, um, but someone who isn't like everyone else that they meet on, you know, in everyday life. You do come across as someone who is a little bit more on the quiet or even shy or reserved side, but again, people tend to uh, gravitate towards um, towards that. You come, 
you come out it's like you have this little bit of a you know hermit shell and you come out of your shell when you feel it is safe to do so so you're very intuitive you are someone who picks up on people's vibes and people's energies and you're also someone who absorbs other people's energies like it rubs off on you and um when you feel comfortable or when you feel safe with someone when you feel like you can trust them this is where you come out of your shell a lot more and people are able to see more of you you do come across as someone who's very well respected someone who has um a good set of values and morals a little bit old school in a way you're also someone who you've got this light about you i feel like you have a very um you have this very shining light or this shiny aura that I feel and you seem to shine a light everywhere you go and people gravitate towards your energy almost like a moth to a light like an insect to a flame kind of energy um, maybe even for reasons uh, a lot of people can't even explain you just have a way about you that feels like it feels very endearing it feels very trusting people feel very safe people feel comfortable um, around you you're also quite spiritual you're someone who I feel like you appear as a you 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 appear in someone's life as a spiritual mentor for some of you You do have also a very, um, you have a side of you that is a little bit reckless or that can be a little bit impulsive, but very charming and very passionate. And you have this, I feel like you have different facets to you, okay? You have a side that is a little bit more calm, that is more, um, it's just more gentle but then you also have a, a, a side that is very charming and very passionate but can also be a little bit rash can also be a little bit impulsive and sometimes people aren't sure uh, you know which side that they're going to get with you or I feel like depending on who you're interacting with and depending on who you're around you tend to show it's not that you have you know different faces or you wear masks don't interpret it like that but I feel like you have this you have this way about you where you switch up your communication styles depending on who you talk to okay and that makes sense you know someone that you've known for a long time you're going to be very comfortable and relaxed around someone you've just recently met or you're going to be a little bit guarded against this person so that makes sense but I see that you have sides of your personality that you only show to certain people people that you do feel very comfortable about uh, you're someone who you've got this people feel as though you're destined for success or you have achieved a lot of successful endeavors in your life and people see that you have this drive you have this ambition about you and that's something that can be um, identified right away you bring a lot of joy or you you're just this little spark of joy in a lot of people's life you're also someone who's very you're seen as a visionary okay someone is very creative someone is very artistic someone who's able to see the picture long before it comes into view um you're very good with children i feel like children really flock to you children really gravitate towards you very you're quite energetic you're almost you've almost got this warrior spirit this warrior way about you also very self-assured people see you as very capable very capable very driven very ambitious like whatever you put your mind to it when you decide though you're also coming across as a little bit indecisive at times but once you make your decision when you put your mind to it you're seen as someone who's very very capable you have a wild side to you as well and people um not everyone is able to see that but you have a wild you definitely have a wild side here with the knight of wands energy Mm 
you've got this way about you you've got this way or you've got this energy about you that feels enchanting it does it feels like people just are drawn to you you have this you also have this energy where you're like love them or leave them you're a great communicator You're a great communicator, and not just verbally, but I feel like you're someone who, because you can pick up on people's uh, energy, you can pick up on people's emotional state, like you can read people very well, and you can just pick up on their energy, and you know energy doesn't lie, and therefore you're able to sort of um, accommodate your communication depending on the situation, depending on the person that you're talking to as well. Now for the Ten of Swords, it's come up in reverse for you, and that's interesting, and I feel like... You do have this, it's almost like this, you're someone who, you know, even if you've had, you know, especially this is, this is for people who are close, close connecting energies and they know that even if you, you've hit rock bottom or even if you've been through some things in life, this isn't something that's going to defeat you. You're someone who is, uh, you become strengthened and you're someone who is just ready to face whatever and you're ready for the challenge and you've got this warrior spirit about you. You've got this fighter's energy. Um, you're also someone who has been hurt and people, as a result, I feel like those closest to you can see that you are a sensitive soul. You're someone who has been hurt in the past and you know and I feel like some there are some that are very close to you only a handful that truly know that you still kind of carry that pain around with you and they just know just how sensitive and how fragile you can be um, but with the ten of swords energy this is someone uh, pe like people see you as someone who's a fighter someone who won't give up someone who you know when lay down their sword this is someone who will keep going okay will keep marching so, you also come across as someone as a very playful energy. I feel like you've got different, as we spoke about earlier, you've got different, um, not that you have like d different sides, like you can be very mature, you can be um, very, um, very like serious, but you also can, can be very playful, almost very childlike, like you've got this playful, youthful kind of nature, so it feels like you can switch that on and off as well, it's just that, you know, again, you you have all these different, uh, I guess, aspects to your personality, and depending on who you're interacting with, you let that, you know, aspect of the personality come out to play, um, I can see that children respond to you very well. You've just got this beautiful aura energy about you. Children respond to you very well. So do animals. Okay, I feel like for a lot of you, I, I can see that maybe even you owned and you care for a lot of animals, but I see them responding to your very kind, caring and gentle nature. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, or subscribing to this channel. Bye.